Hi, I'm here to show you how to download Minecraft Mod Loader Forge, Render Player API, and Optimine for Minecraft uh, 1.4.7 um, on Arch Linux, a Linux distribution that has a keep it simple stupid um, philosophy. Yeah. So, um, first, possibly, you want to download Minecraft Mod Loader Forge, uh, you want to get the universal version, you get AdFly. Uh, for render player API, you get the media fire. For Optifine, you get the download. Um, uh, I suggest you just wait the extra seconds for the ad fly on mod for you know, supporting the creators of this. I will have links to everything here in the description as update as it is um, current according to this date, which is February 20th, Wednesday. Um, 2013. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get Yaort, a Pac-Man wrapper with extended features and AUR support, as it says. We download the tarball, tar um, as I have I already have it in my downloads. Um, we would, I open up the terminal, so um, or I don't. Damn, I need out. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll download Yaort. We'll save it to our downloads. All right, that's finished. LS and there Yaort is right there. Um, tar XVF and Yaort. See XVF actually. Is the XVF Yaort so tar GZ LS? We can see the into Yaort and then we have to. This is how I would do it sudo dash f make package dash dash as root. <coughs> Um, compiles it, the ls. Now we have this particular file, which is a tar.xz. What we need to do is we need to do pacman u yaort. Yaort. And that should, and once we're finished with that, it should go through in, and install yaort for us. And so, this just gives us access to the Arch Linux AUR, um, the Arch user repository. So, the next step to, so, to do it with this is we type yaort-s minecraft mcpatcher. Now, I've already completed these steps, so I, I'll just show you what happens. Um, you go right into this, and what it'll do is it'll start downloading mcpatcher package build from AUR. I'm not going to bother with that, because uh, me personally, I already have this um, set up. Um, the... Um, so what this will do, instead of having to download the jar file and then up to upload it to, um, download the jar file and run Java with it, all you have to do is type mcpatcher and it'll pop right up for you, um, no problem. So, <coughs> <coughs> this is what mcpatcher should look like when you first get it, and it should run just like this. You should go to your profile, well, you should not go to your profile, that's not actually relevant. What you should do is you press the plus sign. You will go to um, your home folder, and then you'll type in the downloads. Then you will, somewhere in here, you should see, um, you should have like a mod or something like that that you want to download that works with, um, well, actually, that's not what I meant to say. You should have um, already Minecraft Forge Universal, you should have Optifine downloaded by now, and you should also download, um, Render player and API, which is right there. Okay. Um, yeah, right there. And when you click OK, you get this. You click OK again, and that should pop up. Now I already have this in a profile that I saved, which should, which will be a good guide for how you're supposed to order them. Um, oh wow, I do, I do not have these these already loaded. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Now when you go to patch this, it will tell you that there's conflicts detected. Just just don't don't worry about it. Just click yes. I click no because I already have it patched. Um you should have this in this exact order. You cannot have it um you cannot have player API above Minecraft Forge and you cannot have Optifine above Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge has to be above all mods that you install this way. Um 
and then you test Minecraft, just like that. Um, just this, you patch it, of course, before you test Minecraft. After you've patched it, you should see the Mojang screen, and then you get a pretty little Minecraft, um, initiation. Just give it a second, because sometimes it takes a little bit of time, because that's how it acts sometimes. It's retarded, but it doesn't know what it's doing. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. Okay, there, there we go. Okay. I have the sound mod installed, which means that I get to listen to Zelda playing in the background. Um, um, this allows us to change our texture packs, the Optifine, in the middle of uh, the fucking game already. So, like, for example, I just changed my texture pack. I'm not in game, I don't even care about it right now. So I close. Um, that is just how you would install the, um, the mod loader and such and such like that. That's just a basic. So, if you wanted to, let's say, for example, um, let's say I, w I was in the downloads and I had my mining mod that I wanted to install, all I'd have to do is CP or move, mining mod, home, dot minecraft, mods, the folder that spawned when you ran it for the first time with um, with Optifine. When you have a jar file, um, okay, let me give you like a great exception. The exception to this is that when you have with the sound packs mod, it's one of those jar files where you really didn't it's really not a core to the whole game. So you don't have to really install it to you don't have to install it to the core mods folder. You throw like dynamic lights into the core mods folder because it, even though it's because it's a dot jar and usually, people who develop the mods will specify where you're supposed to put it, and um, that should be about it. You should have no other problems with run with running Minecraft. Make sure that when you are working with MC Patcher, you do not open Minecraft during the installation. I don't know what that does, and I would not like to like for anyone to have to find out the hard way. Also, I would really appreciate it if um, you leave me a comment um, and you like my video. Thank you. Um, good luck.